The periodic table has been an essential tool for chemists and students since its creation in the late 19th century. It all began with Dmitry Mendeleev, a Russian chemist who noticed a recurring pattern in the properties of elements. He organized the 50 known elements according to their atomic weights not atomic number which wasn't discovered then. He placed elements with similar properties in the same column. He left some gaps in his table. When new elements were discovered, they fitted in well in the gaps. Over the years, the periodic table has undergone many changes and improvements. New elements have been discovered, and scientists have gained a deeper understanding of atomic structure and properties. Today, we have a table with 118 elements, organized by their atomic numbers, which reflects their electronic structure. The elements are arranged in rows called periods. Elements in the same period have the same number of electron shells. The properties of the elements change along the period. The columns are called groups. Elements in the same group have the same number of outer shell electrons, so, they have similar chemical properties. All group 1 elements have one outer shell electron and all group 2 elements have two outer shell electrons. The group at the far right is called group 0 elements or Nobel gases. All have complete outer shell of electrons. The periodic table is not just a simple list of elements, it is a powerful tool that can predict properties and aid in chemical reactions. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to Kim Mastery with Dr. Z for more educational content on chemistry.